This Minecraft Legends update brings us two new structures and three new mobs, which are really cool. And here's everything you should know about it. So let's begin. To start off with the mobs, where there is one mount which is gonna be added, and there are gonna be two new mobs. One will be the enemy mob the piglin side and one will be fighting from our side as a troop mob so as for the first one we're gonna take the frog which seems very much different than the frogs we see in actual minecraft but they're just humongous in their size and there is not much specifications about anything just by the fact this minecraft fly was just like it started and ended very fast, there was not much specifications, but we're not here to talk about that. But the thing is, uh, there's not much specifications about this entire mob or any other thing, but we could just assumption it out just by the fact that there are so many mobs which we can see in-game. So the horse is just like the classical mob, and then when it comes to Regal Tiger, it, it runs fast. Then when it's the bird, it just glides in air. And when it comes to the beetle, it can just go upon any kind of structure. Or just climb up the walls of any other level, like Horde of the Bastions level, which could be really great. But when it comes to frog, what a frog can possibly do is basically simple. It can jump a lot more bigger. So, is there gonna be anything like jump boost? But it doesn't seem so very much special if that's the thing, just by the fact that the beetle can do a lot more better job than the frogs. And it seems like the frogs are gonna be found in the swamp areas where, you know, any kind of swamp we can find in the legends biome, we'll be able to find it in that biome as the another mount which will be added. I mean, I like it, but uh, it looks and it doesn't seem very much unique from the mobs we have. But it's just the first big update of Minecraft Legends, so we should not expect much just by the fact we are getting Lost Legends too, which I'll be talking at the last. But let's start off with the next mob. The next mob will be the Witches. I mean, uh, this got already predicted from many creators like Kaboom and Hound in their podcast as they predicted it. And it was right. So, which is a really great thing to be honest. But when it comes to Witches, I think it's gonna be a very unique mob. Witches can possibly do a splash area damage where it would be basically a poisonous damage which will be uh, giving damage per second which would, won't be that much damage but it will be like a per tick second like you know you get what I'm talking about so that's the basic thing what we can expect from the actual game so that is something I really think which is as are gonna be doing what material would be used for the witches I mean we have the redstone coal and stuff what can be used for the witches I mean which just seems far much unique than usual and as per Minecraft what we can basically think of by the witches when you kill a witch there is a chance it will drop redstone sometimes which gets me into thinking that redstone might be the one of the ingredients we will need to get the witches. But if they just do the redstone, redstone is gonna be the biggest needed, uh, you know, resources in the world. Just by the fact you can spawn zombies, then elagers and witches. Now, if they are adding witches into the game, that's also one big thing which will be just giving us a little bit more cutscene, I think so, just by the fact Elegius had the same thing, so we would be also getting a great new cutscene about the witches, which we will have to find out by playing the game all over again, which I really do not like, but I think we would have to be doing it just by the fact in order to figure it out if there was anything lore of the or the origin of the witches into the world of minecraft so that is something i think about the witches i guess so uh let me know what you think about the witches so let's get to the third mob 
third mob we have over here will be a piglin which will be the clanging piglin i guess i really do not remember its name but it looks very much like a different mechanism mob which seems to be clanging its hands kind of thing it just clangs it up which gives uh, his himself an ability i don't know what it does but it seems like it does a splash damage in a particular radius of the area which just stops the mobs or stun the mobs if stunning is a thing it would be a very tough mob to actual fight but i don't think that would be the thing it's just going to do uh a splash area damage in a particular radius which will be a lot more annoying than the usual mobs not deadlier than the mobs so that's something i think so that's all we know about this mob we have not got any more confirmation about the witches or anything like these mobs so we cannot just say it about it but here's the thing that uh, they literally said it that this update will be dropping in mid-November. So in the starting November, we might get a few more information about these mobs, which could possibly help us regain some news or just to get more information about these mobs. But I don't think that's going to happen. They're just going to directly release the update with the next month's Lost Legends, which seems very much interesting. But we will be talking about Lost Legends at the end, so make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video. But let's get to the two stars structures which are about to be added into the game so as for the two structures which will be added into the game let's talk about the piglin structure it's basically a huge fan which is controlled by a piglin which is going to be spawning in in the hold of the spore which is the most annoying one i guess it's also the hardest one to ever face uh, by my side but I don't think that's gonna be a problem, but uh, yeah, if you're playing on legendary difficulty, there is gonna be a huge chance that it's just gonna knock all of your troops which you tried to get from such a long time, just like it was nothing for them, just wipe it out! Like, it's not gonna be a huge thing for them, they're just gonna blow them away, and even you can be blown away by that. So it's just gonna be so much annoying getting knocked off from the huge mountains of the Hold of the Spore. Which is going to just make the game even more raging, but harder. I mean, in the game's already harder, just by the fact they added the bomb piglins. I cannot stop mentioning them in every single one of my hardcore videos and my Minecraft Legends videos. I cannot stop talking of them, how much I hated them at this point. As for the second structure, it's for us as a player, which is going to be the cauldron. And now, here's the thing. There's not much stuff which we know about the cauldron yet, but I saw one thing, which is the healing effect, I guess. It gives every mob a different abilities, which seems very cool in a particular radius area, I guess. So, that can be something which we might just see in the game cauldron can be a very much best supportive for mobs building which could be just change the perspective with the even the matter in the pvp so that is something i really think and hoping for the cauldron to be the best one of the best things which we could ever get what will be needed to make these cauldrons by the way front i absolutely do not know because Mojang just doesn't like to give a specific good deep into information. They just like to hang up us on a cliffhanger and just make us wait for something which turns out to be disappointing. I'm not lying. This is my personal experience from all these years. So I, I really hope this is a good thing not a bad thing like everything they just release is all about redstone if this cauldron is also built by redstone i'll be a lot more disappointed but i think it would be somewhat different than that i think it would be uh requiring some more different 
uh, well, you know resources like redstone then iron or even coal many resources together to make this entire cauldron building but there can uh, we do not know much about it so i even cannot confirm this or it's gonna be a bad thing so i'm just gonna say this that there can be more than one attributes for that building uh, we saw a healing effect, I guess. It was a healing effect. That's just a prediction. But uh, how it's gonna work, we even do not know. But when you build it, there's gonna be a radius in which it's gonna give us a random attribute. For an example, healing. Which will basically make us heal per over time. Which will be making our regeneration of health a lot more faster. Same goes to the mobs. And if it gives us anything else, which could be the damage boost or the speed boost, or it's anything else like so, which could be not that great, but I, I do not think it's gonna give the effect to us as a player, but it's only gonna go for the mobs. And if it goes for the mobs, there can be endless possibilities to attributes they would be adding, but we do not know. <laughs> moment you were waiting for the next lost legends as i forgot to mention uh, there is also a glimpse of a time where we can see the world seed being added into the game which will be very much creative just by the fact it's the same thing which we see in minecraft world generation so it has a similar kind of perspective in this place which will be really cool i'm really looking forward for that from the information i've got uh people say it's a creeper related uh, Lost Legends, which is gonna be this. I mean, I really do not know if this is official or not, but I feel like it is something which we'll be getting in the next uh, Lost Legends, which would be very much interesting to just see. And we are going to get a finally a Regal Tiger skin. It looks like a cheetah kind of skin not gonna lie like you know the it's basically yellow ish and it looks very much cool if it's a regal tiger skin finally i was always waiting for this mount to just get a skin which would be so much better uh, last legends it would be coming out obviously in the I guess to 10 to 18th of November, anywhere between this, because most of the last legends have been dropped on these dates. As it's rare, it's mostly 18, as I have observed, it's 16 to 18, somewhere between that. But uh, it can be anything else too, as they said, mid November. So that is a time of mid November. So it would be dropping with the last legends and this entire update. And also, I think there's going to be involvement of these new mobs into the Last Legends because they would be introducing to us at the same time. We do not know and we do know what's going to be added into the game. And here's everything I actually knew about the game. And make sure you stay tuned because if there was anything new I get to know about this, this game, I'll always be there. To just let you guys know about and just by the fact I'm always looking forward for Minecraft Dungeons content, Minecraft Legends content. Those two games are the main two games for Dungeons forever, first of all. But yes, Legends is the game which I'm starting to make content about a lot more frequent now. So make sure you stay tuned for it as it's going to be amazing. So yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications on as it helps me out a ton as I put a lot of efforts into making these videos. So it will help me out a ton. So make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications on and uh, comment down below what do you think about this Minecraft Legends update as it's a very much different and it's the first big update of the Legends. And I'll be making another video where I'm gonna talk what Minecraft Legends needs in order to become a better game than the game we are playing right now which will be coming out very soon i guess so make sure you stay tuned for that too but for now that is me point signing out of this video so if you made it till here make sure you check this video out because you will enjoy it and i just know it so make sure you check that video out and i'll be meeting you in the next video until there peace